What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Austin Toski here of Mason Brew, bringing you another Michigan basketball highlights video. Michigan opens their Big Ten conference schedule here with Penn State. They win this one 62 to 58 on a really close battle against the Nittany Lions. Two things before we get going in this one. Number one, comment below if you think Hunter Dickinson will be all conference this year. He's playing like it. Do you think he'll end up on that starting lineup there for all conference in the Big Ten? Number two, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Number three, watch the video. Okay, here we go. I said two things. I don't know why I went three. All right, starting off here, sloppy start for Penn State. Good look there. For livers down low, uh, quite a few turnovers for uh, Penn State to start here. So Michigan able to get an early lead. Nice look there from Mike Smith, but turnover Hunter Dickinson, rare turnover for him. He makes up for it here, just going down low with a nice little spin left hook for the basket there. Um, you know, that last play with the turnover, I think we're discounting how – uh, how little he's turned the ball over here does get an and one so it, of course as soon as I give him a compliment he follows this for the and one but overall Dickinson can't say enough about the guy here's Mike Smith remaining fast on that baseline drive another look here in the corner hits for three quick five points for Mike Smith to start Michigan's up six early another turnover there on the travel for Penn State here's a little pick and roll action over to Johns but turns the ball right back over i'll save the total number of turnovers for the end of the game put down in the comments if you can guess right now but it was a lot um, one thing michigan didn't do really well in defense is close out on a couple threes especially in the second half you can see franz wagner really nice finish there but penn state's a team that can beat you from three a uh, good effort here from eli brooks who was just phenomenal on defense all game but penn state as a team can't let them get behind the three-point line that's their bread and butter Nice follow draw there from Eli Brooks, who put in his best effort on offense this game as well. I think uh, Franz Wagner forced that one a little bit on the layup there. Uh, another deep three that Franz didn't close out enough on, and that's how Penn State was able to stick with this one. Eli Brooks with a nice little floater there. I think the announcers are being a little generous calling that a hook shot. It's more of a uh, Eli Brooks floater, but regardless, able to get going early for him on offense. Uh, good defense here from Brooks. That's a nice contested shot. Uh, able to get his hand in there and force a really difficult shot. Sean New Brown, another turnover for Michigan. Again, they were clicking on offense, just couldn't keep the ball on uh, some of those turnovers. Good charge there. Let's back up there. Why is this a charge, right? There's been some questionable charges. There's one late in this game that's really questionable. So this one, I think, is the arm extension here. You can see him actually lower the shoulder here, number two. Lower that shoulder. Extension of the arm kind of right there a little bit, and the ref is in a really good position give credit to this guy analyze pro analysis here <laughs> but he's got a good angle on that on that little arm extension the lowering of the shoulder i think that's a good call on the charge there i am biased but that's my uh non-professional <laughs> opinion there a little pick and roll a poor pass there trying to split the double team for eli brooks hunter dickinson trying to give it to johns uh turnover uh two-man advantage there and Penn State's able to get good ball rotation here get a look for number 12 behind the three-point line and they're down three here ball again for Penn State going down low that was a really good defensive job from Brandon Johns he's done a really good job on defense overall going up straight here right you go straight up doesn't move his arms into the uh into the opponent doesn't get the foul against him here's Hunter Dickinson I thought this was a foul I thought you could have 100% called that one a foul here he is again down low kind of an off balance shot four straight points for him but right there I think number five was reaching there that 21 was coming late too he looks at the ref like come on what was that and then he goes here off balance he able to put that one in uh can't say enough about the guy and I'll say that like 12 more times this video I'm sure give it down low again Going in there, 15 gets the foul. He's looking down like, what am I going to do against this guy? And Dickinson just getting going early, number 21 on the bench. Look at that look. Just a death stare from Dickinson. <laughs> he gets mad really, really quick. Love to see it. Here's a good drive from Livers. He just gets blocked. He's whew, trying to catch his breath there. Luckily, he was okay. Number 30 was a good player for Penn State. I think he had like four fouls in like 10 minutes or something insane. But he... uh. He was a good, aggressive player for Penn State. Here's a baseline drive running around for number five. Uh, late in the shot clock, Shawnee Brown there. Just kind of a hoisted three. But, again, got to close out on those guys, especially late in the shot, in the shot clock. A little bit of a forced layup there for Shawnee Brown. Can't get that going. Michigan's up seven, so still doing well here. I don't know. I 
correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was called, this is definitely a foul, but this was not a shooting foul, which I don't understand. It was right there. That's a foul on number 30, and they didn't call that shooting foul. Kind of weird. And then number 30, again, I said he was kind of a promising player. He blocked Hunter Dickinson there, which I thought was illegal in 12 states, but, uh, you know, he, he showed out on defense a little bit there. Uh, here's a nice drive. I thought Dickinson could have done a little bit better here, right? Again, there was some of this in the last game as well. Dickinson's able to just like fall back a little bit here, force like a mid-range jumper instead of giving this lane uh, for this Penn State guy. I'm going to do black because that's their colors here. Um, so like if he can just not give that lane as easily, um, I'd like to see that improvement. But again, uh, here's Eli Brooks from the corner, able to knock down a three again. I mentioned Brooks, one of his best days. Uh, as an offensive player for Michigan here, really came up huge. Again, watch Brandon Johns here going straight up and then able to get the block there. Frustrates that Penn State guy. Eli Brooks with the drive, kick out to Mike Smith. He's able to drive, kicks out to Brandon Johns for the nice three. We'll show a replay here. Really good job from Mike Smith there with the fake. Forces 21 to commit, right? He's Look where his eyes are. He's, for, he's focusing on what 21 does. So that little pump fake, and then he's like, okay, 21's coming in. I'm just going to kick it out again. Look at all that space for Brandon Johns. Plenty of time. Rattles it home. Michigan's up 11. Here's another pass over here to Franz. He's going down low. He's going to kick it back out. Mike Smith wide open. Boom. Michigan's hitting from deep now, and that's dangerous when they have Dickinson down low, able to hit deep. Penn State's able to stick with it. Number three, he's a, he's a good player for Penn State. Another kick out here. Good ball movement. Finding Eli on the left wing. He's able to throw that one down. Michigan up 15, biggest lead of the game. And then a little bit of a run here for Penn State to end the half. There's a nice layup on a nice baseline pass. Number three again with the thunder block, though. Eli Brooks coming up big. Wasn't expecting him. Johns was there for good defense. Eli Brooks able to see that he's committed to that layup. Blocks him out of the bounds here. Number three with a nice dish on the baseline. Number 30. There he is again. Uh, athletic guy, and then here he is with just a blind layup against Dickinson. This is just like, like what do you even do? And you can even see Saudi Washington at the top. Watch his reaction. He's like, what is that? He's like, what? What is that move? And, I, you know, I'm not mad at Dickinson for that. It's just like, what do you do against that? Mike Smith with a nice little drive there. This is the worst call I've seen. He was moving. He was moving. John Howard can't believe it. I can't believe it. Watch his feet. All right, you're watching number 30 here. Watch his feet. He's like, he's going to bring this foot almost directly behind this other foot. He's still shuffling there. He's still moving. Like, the only thing is, like, Mike Smith steps on him, but that's that's a block all day. He's nowhere even close to being in position, and he's still shuffling. That should be an and one blocking call all day. Can't believe it. But anyway, start of the second half here. You got a, a more of a, a run here for Penn State. Dickinson able to put that one in, but I think this was like something like an 18-4 to run for Penn State extending back to the first half. Here's a little qualm I have on defense. Um, no reason for Hunter Dickinson to be standing right here, right? You have Mike Smith uh, and Dickinson both closing out on this guy. Um, you know, I think it's, it's fine for Mike Smith to be going out to guard this, uh, but Hunter Dickinson has to recognize, okay, Mike Smith going here. I'm going to have to fall back here, you know, maybe give up a, a short little jumper here. But given Mike Smith is coming out this way, Hunter Dickinson has to identify number 21 under the basket there. He doesn't, and that's an easy bounce pass and a little uh, little floater there. Uh, so just got to improve on that. And then a couple plays here where you just have to close out on the three-pointers. Again, Michigan did a really good job overall forcing some tough, tough twos. But uh, can't give them these threes. And that's you know where Penn State really likes to attack you on their uh, deep shooting uh, behind the arc. And just Michigan had defenders there. You just got to close out, especially Livers. Just got to close out a little bit harder. Make, make them go within the arc there. Good block from Dickinson there. Unfortunately, he's able to get his own rebound. Put that one back in. Again, 18-2 to scoring run there for Penn State. Here's a drive for Livers that he turns over. Um, and just too many turnovers, right? And that's how a team like Penn State can stay in this one. Luckily, they're just passing to their own bench out of bounds here. Eli Brooks, a little creative move down low here. Somehow finds Dickinson, who puts up a tough one for the and one. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of a bailout there for Brooks, but good job on him. You got a flex here from Dickinson and one. Uh, we got uh, Franz getting in there, drawing the foul with his length and that move. Um, you know, another foul here. So Michigan was able to get into the bonus pretty quickly with these early fouls in the second half 
that's just a tough shot. Give credit to Penn State. They were able to stick with Michigan here. Good little crossover there for Eli Brooks. Another foul that he forces. He puts in those free throws. He was perfect from the line. This one, oh, Brooks with a nice closeout here. Just gets on the wrist. I think that's a little bit of a soft call. But that's three shots for number three. And he puts all those in. Again, down one. Here we got Penn State, I believe, with their first lead of the game. Up one. Shawnee Brown finding Johns. Misses that, but tips in his own rebound. So that's great to see for Brandon Johns. Here's a, a little ankle breaker for uh, – <laughs> I had to throw this in. Watch uh, Franz Wagner coming out to guard against this. He's just going to – a little bit of stumble there. A little bit – oh, he chipped on the guy's foot. All right, I won't roast him too much for that. But uh, some offensive rebounds for Penn State on a couple possessions here really uh, killed Michigan. I don't know how this one is in the charge. Looks like right here definitely push, puts the uh, forearm extension right there. Um, but he misses the shot. But, again, another offensive rebound. Johns has to get a body on that guy. Luckily, Michigan uh, up to bad pass from Johns. Again, up and down game for him overall. I liked what he brought on defense. Speaking of defense, Franz Wagner got to do a little bit better on that. Loses position and one there for Penn State to go ahead one. Here's Livers. Somehow puts that one in. I include this. He did get fouled on the baseline there. But, uh, there should be a rule if you can make that sort of shot after a foul. It's an and one. It wasn't, um, but Michigan was already in the bonus there, and that's good news when you have a guy like Isaiah Livers. Here's Dickinson just doing – I don't know why that went to black here, but <laughs> Dickinson with just man ball things. Look at his face. That's just a – like we should do an analysis of his eyebrow angle here. <laughs> he's just furrowing that brow, getting angrier as the game goes on. You can see he's already at 16 points. This one, Shawnee Brown, just a couple instances of being a little too aggressive. We go back to this one. Uh, you know, it's well defended. He doesn't have to go up and try to block it that much. Just get a hand in his face. Um, so just some inopportune fouls there to keep Penn State in it. Good block there from uh, Penn State and, and some defensive possessions here. Uh, this one, fortunate to not be called. So the rule is if it hits the backboard, which it does, it can still be blocked if it's headed on an upward trajectory if none of the ball is above the rim, okay? That's what makes it okay for a block after it hits the backboard. So it hits the backboard. It is above the rim. So technically, this should be goaltending. Michigan gets away with that one. I'll make that up for the uh, for the really bad charge call earlier in the game. All right, here we have Mike Smith, just not able to get anything up late in the shot clock. Travel there. Michigan struggling a little bit on offense. Franz with a really nice move here. This is something that I think he struggled with. Uh, early, earlier in the year, you usually see him going to the basket. Pick, he's picked up quite a few charges. He's able to see this guy who plants, puts a nice little floater over the top with that length, really using his athleticism there. So it's a really good job for him to stop there, notice that he can't just keep going and put that in. That's a really good adjustment from Franz Wagner. Hunter Dickinson invites number three to the block party, showing out his ability there on defense. Another one down low. Dickinson doing a good job, good defense. And then Shawnee Brown, just got to be smarter than that. Picks up the uh, reach-in foul there for uh, a foul. And then you got Dickinson picking up a little extension. You see his forearm right there, just kind of push off. That's a good call from the refs. You can see, and that's, this is a really good teaching moment from uh, from Juwan Howard. You can see he's just trying to get livers. Like, you don't need to pass over the top here, right? You can dribble out and just go around, do a little bounce pass entry here. He's got position. He's got a lot of room here to work with. And that's all Juwan Howard is saying. You can dribble and then uh, do a little bounce pass around, right? And that's what he's going for. Uh, so just got to improve there. Uh, nice little pass out here to Franz. He's backing his guy down, picks up another foul. You can see both teams already in the double bonus, getting guys in foul trouble. I like to see Franz using that extra strength he added in the offseason, <laughs> a little bit theatrics there, but picks up the foul. Terrence Williams in the game late here. Some big minutes for him getting the block there. Franz, I don't know how this is a travel, another turnover, but you watch, he catches, and then, like, I just don't see it. I see, like, that first step right there with his left, and then he's driving already. I don't know. Ball's already on. I don't know. I don't know how that's a travel. I think that's a really bad call. You can see Phil Martelli at the top of your screen here with the get out of here, and I agree with him. It's kind of a ridiculous travel in my opinion. Michigan's up four. You got four minutes left, three and a half minutes left. Uh, pass out. Good close out from Mike Smith, but hits the shot. So they're closing in, only down one. Here's a drive for number three. Dickinson a little late to help there. I don't know what Franz was doing here. Franz just kind of backed off. I think he's got to notice that drive and come 
uh, come help there. Dickinson, um, it's just kind of like a miscommunication. I, I realize that you have Franz following number 12 here, and Dickinson is over here. But uh, I think Franz just has to keep his eyes on the play, knows what's coming towards him, and step in. He doesn't, and one, and you got Penn State up two. Turnover, bad pass from Livers to Dickinson down low. Mike Smith around the pick and roll. Really great bounce pass to Hunter Dickinson. Underrated part of this play is how Hunter Dickinson's able to grab that like full extension and then go up with it right there. That's not an easy pass to catch to go up and throw that down that quickly. The grad assistant in the background here is just going crazy. Just the excellent form on the fist pump there, the clipboard. I'd love to see it. Uh, number three, able to get his own rebound here or get the rebound, turns it over. He can't believe it. Another pick and roll right here. Good job fighting through the double team. Dickinson able to get another basket there. Michigan up two now. Really good, really good block from Franz Wagner here. There was an inadvertent whistle right at that moment. And the, uh, I don't know what that ref was thinking, but uh, everyone on their couches, including me, freaked out at that whistle because that was a clean block. Really good job from Franz. Terrence Williams here on number three. Really good defense, forcing him to give the ball up. And then Franz again, just really tough defense. Great job not giving up a foul there. And uh, under 30 seconds left. This is a big moment here where uh, Shawnee Brown finds Terrence Williams, who's open, goes up across half court. He's got to, like, in my opinion, you have to be thinking of getting this to a guard or at the very least get it to Livers. Uh, they don't. They follow him, send him to the line. His first two, excuse me, free throws misses the first one, misses the second one. Still a two point game. Penn State out of the timeout. 10 seconds left here, and Eli Brooks play the game, in my opinion. Just really excellent defense going straight up, not getting his arms involved here at all. Turns away at the last minute to not enforce a penalty there as well or a foul. So just really good body control from Eli Brooks to not pick up this foul. You see right there, a little body, but no arms. He moves his arms away, and uh, they're just going for this foul for number three, right? And just excellent job of not giving that. That's a really difficult shot. And then you got Eli or, uh, Elijah, excuse me, you got Isaiah Livers on the line here, and he is automatic. Eight for eight from the line for him today, and none more important than those two. Five seconds left. Desperation three. It's a four point game, and that's it. 62 to 58 for Michigan. Really, really good win. Um, 6 and 0 on the season thus far. Let's get to stats. All right, Dickinson, 20 points on 9 for 14 shooting, MVP of the game, 7 rebounds, 3 blocks. Eli Brooks also coming out, his best performance of the year by far, I think, 12 points on 3 of 7 shooting, 2 for 3 behind the arc, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block. Isaiah Livers, tough game. He had 10 points, which is third on the team, but only 1 for 7 uh, from the field, uh, one, 0 for 3 from 3-point three line, but 8 from 8 from the free throw stripe, and that was the difference in this one. Uh, those last two especially, obviously, iced it for Michigan. Six rebounds, two assists for Livers as well. So key points here, is Dickinson the best freshman in the country? Now, maybe not the most talented, right? But try to find a more impactful freshman in the country for their team, and I think Dickinson is number one on that list. Him being able to handle the extra load with Davis out for injury, uh, being able to handle it in Big Ten play, he's you know it's still early, so don't want to put too much on him here. But he has showed out with more than anyone's expectations. I think could have reasonably expected out of him, and he's just surpassed all of those. Um, key point number two: got to cut down on turnovers. Right, sixteen total turnovers in this one. Just can't have that. Um, that's going to cost Michigan some games if they keep that up. Luckily, they're able to escape this one. They're able to escape with number three, their free throw shooting. How about that segue? So <laughs> free throws definitely won Michigan this game. 17 for 20 from the line. Two of those were obviously Terrence Williams uh, late in the game. That Those were really important, but 17 for 18 from the rest of the team. Uh, really, really good performance there. Uh, and just a huge difference maker in this one. So... That's it for this one. Michigan doesn't play until Christmas Day, I believe, against Nebraska. Kind of ridiculous they have to play on Christmas, but a bit of a break for me. Can focus on some other things. Plenty of content to come, so stick around. National Signing Day coming up, so we'll see what we got for that. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a happy holidays if I don't talk to you. And yeah, go blue.